Um, let's talk about the process uh, of let's talk about the process of development and where the ideas come from. Um, let's start on the other end this time with with Jason, um, because I think people in the audience of any of these 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 events that we hold, they they're interested in knowing if if it's at all possible for them to come up with an idea and actually score a I don't know get a meeting or actually get the thing done or whatever. I mean, right. um, do you take What's the wide variety, if there is a wide variety, of sources for story ideas? Are they just basically people who already have experience in television? Is that the only people yeah, you listen I mean, to? Yeah, I mean, we have an incredibly strong development par department at Animal Planet. Mm -hmm. Charlie Foley, who runs it, is, is an incredibly creative person. So I think possibly more than other networks, a lot of our ideas are derived internally. Mm -hmm. um, and then we will take them out to a production company that we think has the chops to be able to produce that type of a show. Okay. Um, but for the most part, you know, it's production companies coming into us. You mm -hmm. know, I meet people at conferences and film festivals all the time who are kind of an individual who have an idea. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I tell them it's going to be really, really hard to get in the door unless you're attached to a production company. You mm -hmm. know, somebody who we as a network trust can put together an immense project, manage a budget, manage a schedule, exactly. get us a product that fits our brand, and mm -hmm. be collaborative the whole time. You okay. know? Um, Tony Horn, where do your ideas come from? Well, I mean, pretty much the same as, okay. as Jason said. They, 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 um, we, we have, you know, agents will bring in production companies, individuals will come in sometimes, mm -hmm. and as Jason's saying, they often will have to get paired with a production company that we know of mm -hmm. and has a track record, because if we start going down the road with somebody it doesn't, you know, it, it can be a, mm -hmm. a disaster sometimes. Um, the ideas come from, uh, you know, a pretty wide variety of places, um, but mainly from the, the agents and the bigger production companies who mm -hmm. aggregate smaller people. It's, you know, sort of a food chain kind of thing that filters out some of the ideas. Um, Jennifer Lopez is listed as the executive producer of yeah, one of your is. shows, the one called South Beach Toe, about the auto repossessions in Miami Beach. Do I get yep. that right? Yeah. Um, did that mean you wind up working with J-Lo on a tow truck truck? Uh, J-Lo lends her name to some of the marketing, but okay. she really does not. Um, you don't hear from her. Hey, Tony. <laughs> she's, 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 she's a good she not I think she might have <laughs> tweeted <laughs> once <laughs> about a year and a half ago, and that's about it. And, and while we're talking to you, and, and, and we talked about this before the, 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 the session began, but I am interested that on your, the list of programs that I found, um, there are three of these car repossession tow truck shows. And the reason I point that out is I'm continually fascinated by reality TV and, you know, like in the storage unit space, you know, deriving television shows out of what I would have previously thought were just ordinary activities, you know, that might not be interesting. Um, you have three of the shows now. Um, again, explain that, please. Well, um, I, I, it's I, I, Lizard Lick Towing, South Beach Tow, and Opry Operation Bill. Repo. Yeah. Which has been around for a while. That now. one's been around for a long yeah. time, yeah. Um, well, I'm not going to get into, I mean, I'll answer your questions just broadly. I, I think yeah, that it's, it's a question of, of uh, just like I said about hardcore, hardcore Pawn, it's great character, mm -hmm. and these guys probably, I think, would agree. It's great character and a great, with, with some conflict in the mm -hmm. setting, and for us that seems to work. The towing thing, it's, it's uh, again, we have a male audience that likes to see a lot of rumbling. and. Well, there's a lot of fighting. Yeah, there's a lot yeah. of fighting. Um, uh, so, you know, people get their car, they're going to be pissed off. So yeah, a lot apparently. Of, a lot of very upset people. <laughs> apparently. That um, is what but again, we have, I think each show, each of those shows has some very good characters. It's not, we, you know, we couldn't do it with just any old mm -hmm. people we found. Um, South Beach has got a great female character in it that I, you know, I think is going to hit pretty soon. Um, and I, you know, she's great and she carries the, sh the, the show when it's, when she's featured in it. And she's got to go out in, in a beautiful city, Miami, and ruin people's days. <laughs> well, they should have paid, you know, they should have. <laughs> well, they parked in the wrong place sometimes. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so, you know, reality TV taking on many forms. Um, Jackie, are, are, are the shows at MTV generally developed uh, in-house, um, or the ideas come up with in-house, or you're taking meetings with outsiders it's, and say, I've got a great show about pregnant 16-year-olds? It, well, it, it's funny you bring that one up. That actually okay. wasn't in-house um, okay. an, an idea, but mm -hmm. generally it's, it's the same as these guys. But, um, yeah, 16 and pregnant was actually... Um, the uh, an idea of a West Coast development executive, mm -hmm. so that's you know amazing, and it was developed in house, and mm -hmm. um, and then they hired you know a producer to okay. um, to run it. But um, for the we we do sometimes come up with ideas internally, and mm -hmm. then you know go find a producer or a production company to um, 
to produce it, but generally, yeah, ideas will come in from a production company or mm -hmm. an agent. It is very difficult just as an individual who's not represented by an agent or who's not working through a production company. It's really difficult yeah. to get in because then you'd be talking to everybody. Yeah, you know, exactly. I mean, are you are you getting you can't. letters and pitches anyway from the outer public? Oh yeah. Oh, people yeah. read credits. Oh, okay. They read yes, the credits exactly. and then they okay. just send you a an e they figure out your email address and they send yeah. Uh, off the top of your head, can you tell us a, a very unusual, if not the most unusual, idea you ever heard of for a show? I don't think the oh gosh, I'd have to it would take some time to think of the most <laughs> unusual, but just one that comes to mind right now is somebody pitched an idea of. Starring her, oh. which, by the way, don't pitch shows starring yourself. <laughs> that generally doesn't fly. Um, my friends and I were so much fun. You should see us on Friday nights. We get that a lot. But um, uh, you know, she pitched an idea. It, it was an idea where where she would kind of go across country with her friends looking for love. Oh. Which, if you're a hot, if you're, I don't know, J Lo going cross country looking for love, maybe that's something. But if you're just sort of you know, me going cross country looking Reject for love, that doesn't no, really That wasn't that's anyone in this audience, fly. was it? Exactly. No, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Um, Someone's shooting daggers. Uh, Drew, what about, what about a and &E? Where do all these ideas come from? I'd say most of them actually come from outside. Oh, they do, okay. Most of them come from outside. It's, we, it's every network's goal to, you know, to be like Jason, be like, we develop most of our stuff internally, and mm -hmm. we get so caught up, I think, with our production that it's like, mm -hmm. we rely so heavily on the ideas that come in. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and course, I, I, we don't do most of our stuff, but uh, there's a big portion of it internally. Yeah. It's it's great because then you have so much more. Control. You know, it's something it's yeah. it's something that came from you and you're passionate about it and everything else, and mm -hmm. it's great. But but I mean, for us, I think the realistic thing is that it's the same as everybody else, where it's like productions companies come in, agents bring people in, and you hear an idea, and like 99 percent of the time, it's not right the way it is. It's got to yeah. be yeah. made into something that works for your brand and your yeah. network. So yeah, I think that's the the most important point to make that if you have an idea and you get hooked up with a production company or you turn on someone at a network to, to pair you with a production company, you've got to be ready to completely remake your idea, you know, yeah. over and over and over again until it fits the network that you brought it to. I see, okay. And just to interrupt, VH1 does a lot of internal development, mm. now that I think about it. They come up with a lot of ideas. Yeah. They do. They have a lot of shows that come and go. Yeah. Um, I can't keep track of most of them. <laughs> <laughs>